week you're welcome back to my kitchen if you're new here my name is Yvette Grace and in this kitchen I'm your chef well today we'll be making chocolate orange bark which is a perfect pastry for breakfast snacky festive seasons during the Christmas season so you definitely need this recipe so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified every time we post and stay tuned for recipe blogs on Wednesday I'll leave the link to the blog website down in the description. Anyway, let's dive in. Okay, so first we start by proofing the yeast. You add two thirds a cup of milk in a bowl. One tablespoon of sugar. and two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. Stop. Ensure your milk is warm. Then cover and set aside. <laughs> set aside. For five minutes. Step two is the flour. First, you'll add two, two and two third cups of flour, all-purpose flour, into a large bowl. The rest of the sugar, mix it up, you add the margarine, mix it up. You rub the margarine in until it has this crumbly texture. Then add two egg yolks. Add two teaspoons of orange essence. One teaspoon of orange coloring. Mm. Add in your milk mixture. Mm 
that there is a bit sticky so we will dust into the flour until it isn't sticky Cover with the cling film. And let it rise for two hours. Once your dough has risen, punch down the middle to remove excess air. Then take two bars of dark chocolate, two tablespoons of milk, and melt the chocolate in the microwave for 30, about 30 to 40 seconds. Flour the surface and roll it to a rectangular shape. After that, you'll need to spread the melted chocolate on your rolled dough. Then roll it inwards.
and spin the edge by just rubbing your thumb over the edge. You'll cut down the middle of the log. And face the the chocolate stripes upwards towards the ceiling. Then twist it, ensuring the chocolate faces upwards all the time. Once you twist it, you can uh, you can add your babka into the baking the loaf pan or uh, cake tin, depending on your on what you like. Oil your baking tin. Then line it with parchment paper. I didn't switch my loaf pan so I had to switch it up in the middle of baking. So if you have a big loaf pan that's fine. My loaf pan is super small. After that you'll cover it with cling film then let it rise for one hour. Once the dough has risen, you brush with the egg. Then you set it to bake at 180 degrees. Set it in the oven to bake. And that is it for today, so don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post. Check the link in the description for the blog, then you'll get a new recipe upload every Wednesday. And that's it for today.